Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to the Sewing Room channel and I've been shopping again. I'm really happy to hear that you all really enjoy shopping along with me. I went to a place I haven't been to in a very long time and it's an online store on the internet. It's called E quilter. I bought some really interesting fabric there. Then I went to Walmart and bought all kinds of goodies. Okay, let's get started. I went to an online fabric store I haven't been to in a long time. It's called eQuilter.com. I used to buy a lot of fabric from them, but I went back and looked at them and I found this beautiful tropical summer fun type of fabric. This has little margarita glasses on it. This has sunglasses, flip-flops, oh, tropical foliage, and then this has some more tropical drinks and other little foliage items on it. I just love this. You will see this fabric in kind of a fun little quick project I'm going to make. This fabric here was from Walmart, and it looks a lot like the fabric I buy from Joanne Fabrics and Crafts called Platitudes. This isn't called Platitudes, but it's very similar to it. What I like about it, it's, it is very similar to the Platitudes, is it's the same on the front and the back, so it doesn't matter what size you use. I use the Platitude fabric or fabrics like this to usually make ponchos, but I'm going to be doing something else with it. What I like about it is it's really easy to unravel and make fringe. This fabric here is a lace fabric. It's really pretty. I bought what was left on the bolt. I have no idea what I'm going to make out of it. This is quilting fabric and I really liked all the flowers on this one. I don't know yet what I'm going to make out of it, but I, I can see a lot of things you could do with this, just about anything. Then this has lemons all over it. I've bought this in the past but I was really low on it. I really like it for kitchen projects, so I bought a little bit more. This one I've also bought in the past, but I was completely out of it. And I'm gonna be making a summer tote out of this bag, and I'm gonna be using eyelets on the tote bag. This is really thin denim fabric. So you could even make clothing out of this. It's not very thick. And I bought the last of it on the bolt. Isn't this pretty? Now this is polyester. It looks like satin. And I am going to be making some clothing out of it. Just a simple top. And again, I bought what was left on the bolt. I bought this top in Walmart. And the reason why I bought it was that it had different styles of sleeves on it. And so this is a nice basic pattern to buy. You can make all these different blouses. It's pretty much the same except for the way the sleeves are done. And then I was running very low on three quarter inch wide elastic. This is made by Dritz. These are kitchen towels by Better Homes and Gardens. And my Walmart really stocked up on the towels. I haven't seen it fully stocked in several years, so I was real excited. I bought these because these are very basic in color and I can embellish them really easy. This is an outdoor plastic, I guess you call it, wine glass, and I have a really cute little project that I'm going to use this in. I love these little glass jars that have the artificial flowers in them. It's glued in there somehow. And I like these because I can put really pretty bows on them and change the bows with the season. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love artificial flowers because I live in the desert and nothing lives here. So I have little artificial flowers around my house to brighten it up. And these are such pretty sunflower uh, flowers here. And then these are supposed to be lemons, but at first I thought they were eggs, and then it was brought to my attention that they're lemons. I thought they were really cute. Well, I hope you enjoyed this shopping haul with me. Now, if you're interested in beginner sewing projects, I have links below your YouTube screen. Also, if you want to learn a lot of different sewing tips, 
watch my tips of the week, and there's a playlist down below that you can click on. They're very educational. You learn a lot about sewing on a lot of different projects. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and check out my Facebook page. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and happy sewing. If you like the Sewing Room channel, one of the best ways to show your support is to subscribe by clicking on that red subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on share to share this video with your friends. And make sure you click on the bell so you receive notifications for all my new videos. I'm Cheryl, this is Manny, and this is Scotty. See you next time.